what is dynamic component allocation and how to do that in angular we will discuss that part right after the intro hi this is subrat and you are watching fun of heuristic so on this channel you will get to know about the programming languages the all about the frameworks and about the algorithms so please consider subscribing if you haven't yet in angular all the component all the the login form all all things are can be divided to different different component and that component can be plugged in together to make a full fledged application like in this application this is the login component okay so we have uh, this many component login page not found profile then you have comp uh, services so these components are not dynamically loaded like if you go if you go to the app router routing model you, you can see that on basis of profile we are assigning the component but this this is not dynamically assigned this is uh, kind of statically assigned like we are saying if this url is there assign the component or uh, with some condition we are enabling the component or disabling the component or through a router displaying that component it's a common way to display the component like uh, you can say the static way to display or render a component so what i'm saying is the dynamic component allocation is in the same place the component is dynamically injected to that place that means the component will be rendered dynamically according to the condition or according to the user interaction okay but that's what called dynamic component allocation so in angular there are three to four way to achieve that one but i am going to you know, explain the simplest one like i will give some button in between on click of those button we will going to load the page this dynamically okay So what I did here is I added, I created a three dummy component that is cat, dog, cat, cow and dog and I want to assign, I want to use dynamic component allocation here in the login component. You can see here by default dog is activated when I click on cow, cow, walk, cow got replaced in that place then cat got replaced then dog. So on, on our condition it's getting replaced and how it's working. So here there is a, a property called uh, ng component outlet which we are giving our component like you can assign it to like here I am giving uh, ng component outlet to a ng container that ng component outlet how it's working is this is a variable in the ts like uh, we, we declared a variable as dummy component here and in, we, we initialize that component as a doc component so on click of this doc component on click of any cow cat or dog buttons we are calling assign component method so if you go to assign component we are checking here if the component is coming as a cow we are assigning as a cow component component coming as a dog is a dog component and cat component the mm, to the corresponding value of uh, cat cow and dog is get rendered here according to the our click and according to the our condition right uh, so this is uh, what dynamic uh, component allocation is sometimes you, you can lazy load it also so that's a different scenario but yeah this is this is this much easy so this is what dynamic component allocation is 
and where it will be used like or you have you may have a question that i can give a if there are only three con three components are, are there i can give ng if else if else condition and i can render the component that is also work the same way this is working here that is also load on the demand like if you some condition is passed that only that uh, that thing will get loaded and rest will be deleted from the DOM but the problem will come when you have multiple uh, component to be displayed multiple condition to be required okay so you need to have lot of conditions and lot of things need to be put together to, to display with conditional base uh, component allocation like this is pretty good you just need to uh, check your condition like assign the component whichever component you want uh, from where you can grab you can assign it to this one it just need to be in your project and that will get displayed here so it will be useful when you have multiple tabs in your application and, and user can be na navigate between them and with and if you have with some condition if your components need to be changed or with some authorization your component need to be changed or if you are doing some growth hacking and all then also this can be used there so a lot of application of the dynamic component allocation is there so that's it for today today you learn what is a dynamic component allocation how to implement that in in angular and what is how, why we use dynamic component allocation basically and what is the benefit of using that please hit the like button if you like it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Please give some comment in the comment section below. And please share the video among your friend. We are going to meet in the next video. Till that, stay happy. Bye-bye.